It's Sunday. Welcome aboard, Margu Campaign, aka Tri Generational. This family has been playing D and D for longer than I have, which is astonishing. Uh, welcome aboard. You are about to enjoy something that you have probably not had to deal with before. Certainly, it's going to be new to these guys. It's going to be a aka truck stop kind of adventure. Uh, set in the halfling kingdom uh before we get into the particulars follow us on twitch follow us on twitter take a look at our youtube archive if you want to shoot the shit about D with us join our discord if you want to buy stuff like a phone case or a sweatshirt uh shops in there somewhere uh most importantly if you want a seat on a one shot like last night or on the talk show on tuesdays m hobo inc gmail or twitter hit us up we will get you on there uh shout out to our terrific sponsors didn't use big red last night didn't need to use Big Red last night. If you need custom dice, at Pirate Dog Dice on Twitter, hit them up and they will see what they can do for you. It, and as uh, always, if your game stinks, not like this, yeah. uh, Adventure nice. Sense from oddfishgames.com. Look at this. Everybody's got some. Everybody. Uh, yeah, jump on the bandwagon. Get some Adventure Sense uh, and enjoy the beautiful, savory scent. Uh, that's oddfishgames.com. Folks, let's introduce you to the cast who is going to wow you today. We will start with our senior member, Frank Senior. Who are you? Who are you? Playing? I am Leaf the Somewhat Droopy Druid. Just here to have a good time. Uh, you couldn't have picked a better spot in Drake Delary. And next up is Jason. Uh, I'm playing. Uh, the gnomish witch, Copious Volbitters the third, the uh, entrepreneur and uh, uh, brewery magnet. Famous almost throughout the land. Not Famous quite. throughout the land and in his own mind. That's right. Uh, next up is AJ with his fresh haircut. Yeah, thank you. I notice. Oh, I, 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 I care. I notice. Thank you. I appreciate that. I'm going to remember that for the rest of you. <laughs> <laughs> Playing uh, Felix the Great is a connoisseur of all the temptations of the flesh. You will get that opportunity and more. Uh, <laughs> next up is Middle Frank. That's you. Wow. Hi, Middle Frank, playing Robert of Zeppelin, the wonderful bard slash sorcerer. Yeah. We're coming to you live here at this Orsina house. <laughs> Little Frank, say <laughs> hi to the folks. Hi, I'm Little Frank, apparently. I'm Man Fang. I like to fight and be angry with an axe. A man, a few words, but big actions. Thank you, Little Frank. Back to you, Dungeon Master. Thank you. Uh, speaking of, man, a few words. Uh, Haggis Crapstein will be back here. I'm going to try and, <laughs> and, and do it like he does it. Uh, hi, I'm playing Haggis Crapstein today. I think that's how he does it. Uh, yeah, it's close. Uh, we'll get him on here. Uh, as I said before, uh, these guys are at a roadhouse. Uh, they are currently geese, gazed, quested, however you want to say it, uh, to go to some ruins, uh, find a jewel, get back to uh, the abbey where the sisters of the uh, moonlight uh, need this jewel. They have 10 big days to do it. Fortunately, travel time is about three days to the ruins area. Uh, they are winding up day two. They have stabled their zonkeys. They have stabled their three brand new fetching giant hens, aka battle chickens. Uh, and they have gone inside of the roadhouse. And it is, I forget what I call this freaking thing. Uh, Haggis, it, while I'm looking for the name, introduce yourself. I mean, it's it's even better for me not to say anything. It's Haggis Crabstain. <laughs> what else is there to say? There is nothing else to say. You King of Dexterity. Uh -huh. Not even a, a god. A god hey, of Dexterity. Hey, god of got, Dexterity. Immortal. Do you, that, do you have that D8 for me yet? Or are you just Wait. dorking around? I need a D8 for me. Roll a D8, young man. Oh, sure, oh, sure thing. I got a five. <laughs> That's freaking typical. <laughs> More than just an IQ. Oh my god. That's, that is going to go bad. These guys came into the uh, roadhouse last week uh, and 
were able to get in there. They found the buffet, uh, which, you know, is always important. Uh, man, or not man thing, Robert Zeppelin has requested to meet with Dalton. Dalton, uh, clearly a, a, a very famous individual here, but uh, Dalton ain't here yet. Uh, so Felix, of course, hearing the sounds of bones being rolled, has uh, opted to look, but not touch, and copious V bidders, uh, and I believe Leaf the Druid have made contact with the office uh, to try and figure out what kind of rooms they have, how to get some rooms, and what the general lay of the land is. I'm going to go ahead and pop up the general map, uh, not the super secret map, uh, but this is where they are at. So everybody is wandering around, which works well for me. A is the basic common room. Over on these half walls, uh, this Leaf. side is where the gambling is. Uh, Leaf and Copious have determined that there is a shop, sometimes sells magical stuff, armor, weapons, alchemy. Uh, there are indoor bathrooms in this place, which is a huge development. Uh, the smell does not require adventure sense, but adventure sense is always a good idea. Maybe uh, do a little potpourri mixture in there. Uh, there is a stage. Uh, area G here is the office area, and it is highly restricted. And H is uh, an area where the staff sleep. So as we begin, let's start with uh, Leaf and Copious. Uh, you're talking to the proprietor slash innkeeper slash dude in charge. Uh, what would you like to ask him? I'm trying to procure a room for myself for the night. <laughs> Easy peasy, lemon squeezy. We got rooms upstairs for a uh, great looking guy like yourself. You How look much? like a uh, non-troublemaker. Uh, non-troublemaker. Uh, we, now uh, we have a variety of rooms. We have regular rooms, uh, which may suit your needs, my fair traveler. I'm a uh, person of rarefied tastes. I would prefer something a little nicer. As luck would have it, we have two rooms available that we consider high quality. Hopefully they meet your needs, uh, but they are a little bit pricey at five gold pieces a night. I will take one. I'll take the other one. Okay. Well, each one has two beds. I'm not sharing a room. I'm okay. <laughs> fair, fair, fair enough. Uh, the division begins. Opius early. deserves a full-sized room for his own use. He he has stress, stressful, stressful uh, managerial responsibilities. He needs to be able to spread out. I've right, got pieces luxury. from each of you. And Copius, since you uh, made the first offer, would you like the corner room or the one next to it? The corner room. I know where I'm starting my fire. <laughs> Uh, good news, uh, your rooms are next to each other uh, here in the M section. As you can tell, uh, there is a chamber pot, a fine chamber right. pot, uh, and two beds for you to stretch out. Copious, yours has windows on both walls. Uh, Leaf, yours just has a window on the back wall. Uh, heavy curtains because the sun's going to bother you, but you should be all set. After procuring your rooms, he gives you the keys and tells you to go upstairs. There are stairs here. There are stairs here. Please find the exit correctly. Your rooms will be closer towards those stairs. Uh, we will we'll move. There's a cushion under the seat in case we go down the water. Yes, there, there is. And please wear your life ring at all times. <laughs> Sorry, you were doing that so well. I couldn't know yeah, myself. He was. If you don't know how to do this, Tommy's going to come back and hit you in the head. <laughs> that is correct. <laughs> yes, Copious, what you got? Copious is going to ask you uh, what, uh, <clears throat> what type of uh, business person, tradesman, is in the uh, shop today. It is a Fletcher. Perfect. All right. But they, they only have an hour left. And then is there someone scheduled to come in after or is, is it closed for the evening? We do it by a lottery system. So there will be another vendor in there. Each okay. vendor has one hour to sell their wares. Uh, this uh, vendor, I believe, has uh, crossbows and uh, 
arrows and uh, bows and uh, things of hunters would use. But you'd have to go talk to him. His name is, uh, 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 what is his name? Rybol. Rybol the Archer, I think is what he calls oh, himself. He's, a, he's an elf and kind of, uh, well, if you've dealt with elves, you know what uh, they're like. That guy will tell you. Yes, I, I have definitely dealt with elves, and I, I appreciate that. Uh, I'll probably pass the archer. Uh, and Copius will ask one last. I know you have uh, food on site. Can I have food sent up to my room, or do I need to go in to get it from the... You, you can, but you will need to uh, speak with the members of the kitchen directly. Perfect. So Copius will, will follow that direction and go uh, go chase down dinner and have it sent to, up to the room. Leaf, what are you doing? Uh, I'm the same thing. I'm going to go get some dinner. Cool. Uh, you, now, are you going to do the buffet or are you going to? Do yeah, I'm going to do. I'm doing the buffet. Okay. I believe the buffet is five gold as well. I think. Oh, I thought for sure you said it was two. I think it was two. I think you're right. Yeah. I think I put five in the guide. Uh, folks, I wrote a guide up, but it's not ready for production yet. We'll go with two. We'll be cheap because I think I gave it yeah. to Man Fang for two. Uh I'm going to tell you what is on the fair here in just a minute. Felix, the great, wandering around, you see a multitude of games. Dice, roulette, uh, no halflings attached to it. Um, card games, uh, guessing games. Hmm. I think an odd even. Uh, you see a weird-looking individual carrying a flaming drink. Uh, his name is Edward, cousin Edward. Now, I think, for some reason, the the geese, the geese, that doesn't really mesh well with the gambling. So Felix has no interest in the gambling for some reason. Sure. But yeah, it's that's... odd to him that he doesn't. Oh, I, uh, I would assume so. However, that flaming drink really catches my eye. And I'm going to say, excuse me, sir, where did you get that? Uh, hey, Clark. Uh, I got it over there by the kitchen. I will, thank you. I'm headed over to the kitchen then. And he puts his hand down there and the smell of burning flesh is evident. Just a tiny ring. He could go work at uh, Raiders of the Lost Ark, which is a different roadhouse. Uh, you head over there and you also notice that Copius uh, is waiting in line. Apparently he's putting in an order of a varying degree of finery. Uh, Man, Fang, and Robert no, actually, uh, we'll go Manfang and Haggis. You two were already at the buffet. You guys already fed or uh, paid. Uh, there is just a plethora of different items here. Uh, there is even a uh, what is deemed a seafood delicacy, uh, if you would like to try that. Uh, but it looks like the folks in the kitchen are cooking up something big, and it smells wonderful. Uh, I don't know if you want to wait oh. for that or check out the Nassar mussels. Nassar mussels. Uh, Whoa. It's like clams. They're oh. very good. Uh, but they are seafood and you don't really buy the sea. <laughs> Fresh. Let's Just pack back more nice. Yeah, it's like getting steak at Long John Silver's. You're really kind of gambling. But you know what? You, the, the, the guy offering you the food is uh, is very high on it. He, he speaks highly of it. Oh, uh, what what else is there? Uh, there is some the kind of other than some kind of meat. Uh, you guys haven't seen any cows in Drake Glary. All you've seen are goats and sheep, so you can assume it's either goat or mutton. Uh, it smells mutton. smells it's good. Up. Yeah. Uh, and there Do are they have, or, or, they have gravy. A gravy. It's all in gravy. Um, is there like a section for like mutton or is this just the mystery meat? Oh no, there there's the guy with the spinning wheel of meat that uh, was shaving it off last time. That's there, and he will definitely tell you it's yeah, the This thing with the salt? Yes. Ah, oh, great. That's super sanitary. He does it this way, though. Rolls off his jacket. That's right, he has a pod belly so um, He sprinkles can, it. Can, can I make my way towards, like, the, the, the merchants? Sure. Yeah, it's uh, 
it's right. I, the loo is right in between you and that. Uh, and there's a door there. Are you taking your food in? You already paid, so you might as well eat something. I didn't get anything. Man Fang did. But didn't you pay too? No. Oh, okay. So you were just perusing. Yeah, yes. I just watched him get food. Yeah, you may go over there. Uh, there's a small sign uh, that says Rival the Fletcher on it, and you can go on in. Uh, so, Man Fang, what are you eating? Uh, could I? Is there like someone behind the buffet or like someone near that, that I could ask what the mystery meat is? There are three people. One on the long table, one on the long table, one on the short table. Uh, he Which says one has he, the biggest chef's hat. That's what I'll we'll ask. They they are all equal. The biggest chef hat is still in the kitchen. Oh, okay. These are just servers. Chef doesn't come out and carve. All right, okay. I, I know. I was just wondering if he's just come out and walking around. And they all look uh, like that movie Troll. The chef and that. Oh, okay. Yeah. He uh, uh -huh. he believes it's giant uh -huh. gopher. Giant are there any cream palms on this buffet? Sounds exotic. Go for it. Sounds exotic. I'll have a small portion of the gopher. Now remember, it, it's a buffet. What's that blue banana salt? Blue Java. Is it got blue Java sauce? Uh, it has. I'll blue have a Java large on the blue, side. Blue Java sauce. Okay. Uh, I will leave, not have blue Java. You come up and you Please. overhear that uh, big gophers on there, but you also hear a clatter in the kitchen, indicating that uh, heads up, out of the way. Here it comes, piping hot. Uh, and Man Fang, he, he gives you the food, uh, he gives you a little sauce on the side, asks if there's anything else. Quickly, he moves the giant gopher out of the way. Two people holding a huge pot come out of the kitchen and smash it down on this small table. Uh, and there's a, like a, a bone kind of sticking out of this thing. As you peer in, wow. it looks like a drumstick from Go something ahead. huge. Chicken. Uh oh, ah, it's Conan. Looks like it's a giant George chicken. Leg. Conan, I know it. Chicken leg. <laughs> femur. It's a femur. Uh oh. So, man fang or leaf, uh, you have the option of eating that. I would. I'm looking for. Not really anxious to try the meat in this place. It's fresh. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Just Ooh, killed it. Fresh. No, just it, killed this thing. Just killed it. Yeah, just cooked it, maybe. No, we had, uh, well, we, we found one, yada, yada, yada. It's fresh. You can what, count uh, on me. Let me ask you, you didn't find one, happen to find one in the stable, did you? No, oh, those are uh, mounts. Those are owned. Oh, that would be uh, okay. That would be a bad thing. We don't do that. Just checking. No, I'm list. I'm. What is this? I'm a, is there glary rabbit on this table? There is glary rabbit. Not very I'm going to point at that bread item. What is uh, what is this called? Uh, the bread item is larver bread. Uh, the appearance is just unappealing as the name, but the taste is worth a try. This seaweed and kelp concoction, uh, it, it's usually, usually along the seabed, uh, but we have a special guy. We got a guy. And uh, he brings it to us uh, every week, fresh as a daisy. And it is de delicious. Well, give me some of that. Give me some of that bread with the cheese on it, that loaf with the cheese on it. Sure. That's that's the uh, rabbit. And uh, if you've got cream pongs, I would like a nice stack. He can Those do that. Okay. He'll give you three to start. All right. Uh, you and Manfang can pick out a table in the yeah. central room, okay. and you guys will be able to sit down and eat. Felix, you and Copius are uh, ordering food, I take it? Or Felix, did you want to go to the buffet as well? I'll order food, I guess. Okay. You two are ordering food. Haggis, uh, you are headed towards the Fletcher. And Robert, what are you doing? I'm going to the front desk to find out what the other two were doing. Oh, uh, are, are you with them? I am with them. Did they get rooms for all of us? Uh, no, no, I believe I believe they only got two rooms. Uh, uh, the uh, the good looking one uh, said that he wasn't going to share a room. Oh, well, is there any more rooms? Sure, we got plenty of rooms. You want to 
Now, you know, you look like a man of discerning taste. So sadly, I like quality rooms now, you know, uh, I, this I body that? just can't lay on anything. No, that, that is a temple for sure. Old, decrepit, and probably haunted. Uh, but you know what? We don't have any of the special rooms, but we do have good rooms with uh, beds that'll fit your stature. We what call do you mean them, the special rooms? Who well, has special rooms? Tall people. You tall folk need special rooms. No offense intended, but you're about twice my size. Well, I know. This is a halfling roadhouse. I know. So I want a high quality room. Well, the highest quality room is uh, right next to you, your friend, the other tall fellow. Oh, we get in the same rooms as them? Not quite. Uh, Why do we not quite? Well, they each have double beds uh, and uh, the, the furnishings are a little bit better. You will be getting a single bed, uh, but it's furnished. I mean, it's, you know what? The word I want to use is comfortable. This, they got these. Oh, so they got the luxury room. Yes, they saying. did get the luxury room. I think that is an excellent. Uh, How much to take. get uh, a luxury room? I'm afraid we're out of luxury rooms. What? What? What talks? Does does gold gold get luxury rooms around here? Uh, it does. If we had any available. I'm gonna slip, I'm gonna I'm going to keep slipping a coin across. Are you sure? I'm going to slip another one across. Stop D slipping. D12 uh, against there's five. Me. D12 against me. Okay. Let's watch and roll 12 and you roll nothing. 11? 12. <laughs> 11. Yeah. Uh, you rolled a 12. I, I you rolled just, a 12? Yep. Even when I slide 10 gold pieces across the table? Even with 10. What's that? Can't do it. Hey, Cook, Eleven you, know you like the fact that he's paying twice as much for a normal room as you should give him 10 to 20 one. coins now. 20 coins? Yeah, yeah you give him 20. 20. <laughs> Double or nothing. 20 coins. D12. 20 coins. <laughs> <laughs> he rolled one more above me. Again. <laughs> <laughs> your dice have like Frank. I think your dice have a personality of just making everybody angry. You but you know what? I, I rolled mine first and showed everybody before he rolled yeah, his. He did. So, and I was gonna bump one of those two out, but uh, the dice say all right, I lost, all right. lost twenty friend. coins. Forty. Thirty coins. Forty coins. Thirty coins. Forty. Forty. Thirty coins. Thirty coins. Thirty. Thirty. Okay, you know what? I, let's let's make sure Man Fang's happy here. Okay, here is the D twelve. We will move it up here. It is the cream and orange. That's an easy number to beat. That's a two. Man Fang, what did I roll? I oh, you rolled a ten. I rolled nice. a ten. And you can only you could put whatever you need in your pocket, and the rest can go into oh, the uh, that, that, tape for the room. No, that, that's all. Yeah, that that is a given. Um, I just want to make sure that was clear. You know what? I do have a room for you. I, I think you'll like it. There are two beds, uh, double amenities. I, I think you'll be fine with that. Appreciate it. And, and is there any way? Is there any way to get a couple uh, straw mats in there? I want to make sure those who did not have rooms get a room. Oh, uh, I'll share my room. You know what? I had a good feeling about you the entire time. I'm going to throw them in for free. How many do you want? I just need since now one. I I well, I have to sleep on both beds to make it fit me. No, we'll make sure that the bed fits you. Okay, then I only need two more. There's four of us. Sure. Uh, yeah, I can do that. I can do that. Uh, we'll have it ready. He gives you two keys, uh, three and four that just are etched onto the key. So there you go. Uh, over okay. to Haggis. Uh, Haggis, you walk in, you are third in line. Uh, an elf in a very nice travel cloak. Uh, it looks like you walked into a Cabela's. Uh, 
has a, a bunch of missile weapons on the wall uh, because this place has a lot of pegs for all of the merchants. Uh, so you got longbow, shortbow, hand crossbow, uh, heavy crossbow, light crossbow, medium crossbow. The elf is very soft spoken and will engage each customer in turn, but you cannot hear what he is telling them. Uh, the individual in front of you picks out a very nice looking javelin with a copper tip. Uh, money is exchanged. You can't really tell how much it is. The man walks out. Number two uh, picks up a short bow uh, and you can tell from the jingle of coins, insight, maybe. Go ahead and give me an insight roll. Um, 12. <laughs> It didn't sound like a lot of coins, so the short bow seemed to have gone at a regular cost. Uh, the elf motions for you to approach. <clears throat> what may I do for you, my diminutive friend? Okay. Um, so, what what do you have to sell? You have eyes. Everything. He has uh, He's he's got short bow, long bow, uh, hand crossbow. Uh, the other two crossbows, he's got bolts, uh, he's got arrows. And he even has some darts. He doesn't have any more javelins, though. Is that, what, what shoots a dart? Like a... You just throw it. throw it. Oh. Now, I must warn you, my friend. Uh, the darts are a little bit pricey. They are enchanted. What kind of enchantment? Accuracy. Do you and have anything do not, else? Do not, chances? do not use them on the dartboard down there. They do not appreciate cheaters. So do not gamble with these darts because if you're caught, bad things will happen to you. Uh, I do have a longbow, but it's quite pricey. Well, uh, what kind of enchantment is on that? Speed. Like it shoots faster or? Shoots twice as fast. Um, how much are the darts and the longbow? Like all the darts and the longbow. <laughs> I, have, I have three darts. Each is 25 gold pieces. Uh, the longbow itself is 200 gold pieces. That's a lot of, <laughs> that's a lot of money for a longbow. Let, let's see if we can back that down a little bit. Persuade me. Just to, to clarify uh, for Haggis, is, is the longbow taller than Haggis? And Haggis 17. is in position in longbow, right? Yeah, okay. but he can, he can gangster style. It. <laughs> okay, I'm just checking. He, he can stand in it and push it out and probably shoot himself at this point. <laughs> yeah, that's true. Boys, you 17. You know, I have some nice gems here if you want to lower down the price by flowing a couple of gems. They could be, you know, a little ancient from the elven <clears throat> days. You have, <laughs> you have stolen elven artifacts? No, no. Yeah, Frodo. You guys <laughs> stole <laughs> no. Are you sure? Yeah. He'll drop it to 180. What if I throw in a gem and, and in return for a couple of coins from that 180? How, how much is the gem worth? Um, can I persuade you? It's worth like 100 gold. <laughs> 50 at the least. He asks to see it. Okay, I have five gems. I show him each of them. I I got them from uh, maybe a corpse. <laughs> I was walking down the street. <laughs> this dead guy fell out of the sky. Uh, how much are the gems worth? Oh, um, you didn't write it down, did you? Five gems. I would hope they would be already set price. Um, I, I would think I would have set the price. Uh, I think I would too. But uh, did you get them in the ruins? Yeah. Okay, they are worth twenty gold pieces each. Okay, I have five gems, so that's twenty gold pieces for each of them. I tell him that. He'll confirm that uh, twenty is a fair deal, but that is still far and away away from one hundred and eighty. Ooh. Okay, um, you knock down the price 180 in return for the five gems. How much would that be? 
You well, still need gold, to give me do the math. <laughs> eight, eight, you still need eighty gold pieces. Okay, uh, I have eighty. I have eighty gold pieces. Boy, what's all that special money paying for? Apparently, he's going to public school. That, then, my, then, my friend, you have yourself a longbow. He takes the gems and the 80 gold pieces, hands you over the longbow, as Copius has already explained. It is uh, twice your size, a little bit unwieldy, but you can kind of, you know, movie hero it sideways and be uh, <laughs> run longbow DMC or Will something. Will this affect his ability ahead, to like a sneak? Little uh, yeah, it's going to scrape walls and shit. But he doesn't know that yet. Yeah. <laughs> I had to ask. Yeah. Is he like a dog? He's going to take a shot through a door. He's going to hold it sideways and not be able to get through it. Yes. So he will have to figure out how to carry it like a, a violin case. Okay, or, uh, can I ask him something? You could also I... sell this $500 longbow to Felix. Yeah. yeah. It is 300 gold after all. That's how much I paid for it. I wouldn't right? work it down too. Yeah, I, I would, I would uh, assume it was at least four hundred gold. Yeah, <laughs> starting. <laughs> um, I, I tell him, is, is there any way to modify this for my height? It's okay if not. Oh, you I'm mean like cut it in half? <laughs> <laughs> oh, oh, my gosh. oh my gosh! Roll a d twenty and be oh. very careful with the results on that one. Oh, <laughs> oh, <laughs> oh, chop it in half. Oh, do it. <laughs> uh, with anything, do I add anything? Straight up roll. Okay, um, fifteen. Okay. Did you want me to cut the bowstring? Um, <laughs> just, just sort of not. I'm, yeah. I swear Take to God, if you would have rolled a one, I would have snapped it over my. <laughs> Here we go. Like just, just take off an inch to match my size a little bit. Inch. That that Probably would about ruin, two foot. Yeah, that would ruin the enchantment. I'll do oh, yeah. it, but it'll how, ruin the how enchantment. How much? How much would that ruin the enchantment? Completely. <laughs> <laughs> what? What if I paid you a bit of gold to keep the enchantment? Yeah, I, I did not enchant this item, so I can't. You know who do enchanted that. it? Nope. <laughs> then where did you get this? Hey, you know suspicious what? They that you throw their gold? poop out the window. Why don't you throw your gold out there with the poop at this rate? <laughs> oh, says the guy who paid 40 gold pieces for five gold pieces. <laughs> ah, <they're> 30. <laughs> it was 30 gold pieces, and it was totally worth it. Oh, uh, yeah. Sure, they're Have more than Stanley. <laughs> oh, God. Uh, yeah, Haggis, to with copious. Haggis, the uh, manager, comes in. He goes... That's time, Rival. You're out. <laughs> Loser. So uh, he says, I, I cannot do any more deals. I need to pack my stuff and get along. When uh, will that, the next uh, guy be in here? The next person in line. <laughs> oh, great. <laughs> it's a man in silver armor with a long flowing mustache. He looks smug as shit. <laughs> but I wonder if you like that big bow. red cross on his armor, too. Oh, how yeah. nice. This is great. I, was going, <laughs> I need to meet this man. Yeah. Uh, so Haggis, he uh, wails you out. Copious, you have made your selection on food, gone up to your room. Uh, you use the key to open room number one, and you notice that this place smells great. It must have an adventure sense somewhere hidden on it. There are two very comfortable beds made of uh, goose down. Uh, there is... Uh, a nice chamber pot, very nice chamber pot with a rounded edge. So there's no tugging or cutting. Uh, and it even has a small um, desk there for writing utensils. Uh, you have window and window. You can look out. Uh, uh, dusk is setting. It's beautiful looking uh, area. Lots of wavy landscape. And the room is well worth the money in your opinion. But uh, Copius is in heaven. This is what he. This is what he has missed since he's been on the road. He's going to thoroughly enjoy every moment of his evening. Uh, uh, and and if there's a bath somewhere in the roadhouse, he may even look for that. I'm assuming somewhere in this glor this luxurious room, is there a travel guide by of Dre Glary somewhere that I can peruse while I'm on the the chamber pot? What else would be on the desk? Right? <laughs> yes. Matilda Firestone's classic rendition of uh, the guide. Uh, there's even a highlighted section that you might even recognize in there somewhere. 
Now, did, the big question is, when you went upstairs, did you take the stairs closest to your room or closest to the office? Uh, whichever would have been closest to where I purchased the food or ordered the food is where I would have gone up. So dead center. So uh, probably yeah. well, well, probably closest to the room. If if it was clearly labeled, I would have gone up that way probably. Sure, uh, you would have noticed. What was your roll six before? Eight. Mine eight. Was eight. A six was Felix. Uh, as you head towards your room, you see an elderly woman. She's got to be about three billion years old. She looks like a Peruvian doll. Her, her skin is very dark. She has more wrinkles than uh, streets on a road map. Uh, and she is dressed in native attire. She sits near the uh, big fireplace and is just gazing into it. Uh, she is right here. So as you pass through the line here, you'll notice that this old woman, uh, kind of native blanket looking thing, she is a halfling, uh, just dark complected, uh, and she's just staring. Uh, so. Copia will greet her and see if she acknowledges anything if he's passing by her on the way to the stairs. Mm -hmm. Since halflings are supposed to be gregarious folk, I would assume she's, you know, engaging. This one is not. She doesn't even look away from the fire. She seems to be deep in thought and very pensive. Uh, Copius is a curious sort. He's probably going to look at her, give one of these glances at her face to see if she's alive, and then look in the fireplace to figure out what she's staring at. As you check her for alive, you notice that she has very dark eyes. It's almost like you could fall into them and just keep going. Uh, it's almost as though she is soulless. Uh, she blinks twice and looks at you. Can I help you? And he, Copius is going to, to say good evening again to her. He's just checking, checking on her health. Thank you. And he's going to ask her, what are we looking at? Life as it passes by. Uh, yeah, been there, done that. You want to hit us this? I got something here to drink that may help with the evening. I do not partake in libations. Oh, oh. Yeah, you think to smoke? We <laughs> like copious. Didn't, all right, if she's not going to drink, he's like, oh, I don't know what to do with you. This this is not a customer. Fuck her. This is not a customer. <laughs> <laughs> all right. That's not going to happen. I thought uh, I thought you halflings were all about the party and the socialization. Clearly, that's a mislabeling. She gives <laughs> you a stare, like she's shooting daggers through you. But you, you do not garner any negativity. It's just like you aren't there. She just doesn't care. Yeah, Copius is like, let me tell you about the time I was talking to these folks with the Circus of the Damned, because you ain't got nothing on them. <laughs> she pulls out a strange-looking pipe, tamps in a strange weed, Sticks her hand completely into the fire, pulls it back unscathed. Oops. Uh, Copy's going to look at that hand and go, boy, that's a neat trick. How dare you insight the fire god? You know, I, I have a traveling companion that'd probably like to try that, whatever you're smoking there. What is that? Tobacco. Hmm. Never heard of it. It's made now, in the I... uh, Carolina province. Carolina the <laughs> northern Carolina province. <laughs> uh, Copius is going to take another closer look at her but if she seems this odd to see if he gains any insight on this. I mean, she clearly is alive, right? This is oh, yeah. yeah, yeah. Uh, first off, uh, that is a pungent aroma given off by this tobacco. Give me a constitution check, not say. Mm. Mm -hmm. uh, yeah, your eyes are watering. It's very pungent. And, and you've been she, getting small? When she notices, nope, not, not weed. She, when oh. she notices it bothers you. Smoke rings? Smoke rings. And it just encompasses you, only making it worse. 
So Copius is going to be uh, almost obsequious in his flattery as he bids her good night, but he secretly thinks she's a troll and has nothing left to do with her since she's not a customer anyways. He doesn't care. Yeah, she so looks he's, like he's a troll. Go upstairs. I mean, yeah, she looks like a mummy almost. So, okay, you go upstairs, you find your room, you find the travel guide. Uh, and honestly, this is copious material. This, this room is very well decorated uh, for the middle of the road area that you are in. Does uh, it have a robe? No, it does not have robe or towels. Now, when you get to your room, uh, you notice that you are right next to the lavatory, uh, which may be an issue for noise. However, uh, for convenience... It will be when Robert gets in there. Uh, yeah, for, for purposes of expediency, at, at least you're right there. I was thinking when, once he finishes that freaking rat meat he just bought. <laughs> hey, it's groundhog meat. He, he hasn't rolled for that yet. Uh, Copious, you also <laughs> notice the center of the top floor is wide open, looks down into the room, but your room is off in the corner, so the noise should not be a problem. Uh, and it appears as though there are sex workers, male and female, at the far end of this row. Uh, across the way, additional rooms. Okay. What, what uh, labeled rooms are the sex workers, Jay? Jay. No, I think that's J. J would be sex workers. Uh, K would be common rooms. L are the uh, areas. <laughs> well, that's where you get the uh, straw mats. Uh, just the straw mats, and then you have some more uh, regular rooms here. You can't really see it, but those are three beds, uh, and then you have another set of lavatory right here. This is, this is the fanciest roadhouse Copius has ever been in. Oh, uh, Robert, uh, you got two keys, three and four. There's a secret door that will allow you egress. <laughs> Finest 40 gold you spent. Well, that's a lie. That said, you said I had two doors. Oh, there's two beds in there. There are one, one in each. <laughs> yeah. Uh -huh. Uh, it's all right. It'll all be fun and games when I burn this <laughs> son of a bitch down. <laughs> leave, leave I, I'm sorry, I can't. Out. All I can hear is Robert. I couldn't hear you. Uh, leaf and Man Fang, uh, you guys are eating. Give me yes. constitution checks. Let's see how you like the fare. All righty. <clears throat> oh, I love this stuff. 19. That's my constitution. What this oh, yeah. is great. I got a dirty 20. This Groundhog meat is amazing. But the this, sauce. this this food is amazing. It's got to be the sauce. It's got to be the secret sauce. I think it's Thousand Island, but don't tell anybody. Uh, you guys, uh, I'll, I'll offer some of the meat. Can I offer some meat to Leaf? Fu Wong's balls has got honey sauce on it, doesn't it? Yes, but yeah. they've got to be dipped to remind you of the home country. Oh, wait, that's marinara. Never mind. Different movie. Uh, Leaf, uh, Man Fang. And Robert, as you are tooling around after getting your room, you notice some revelry across the way uh, in the first floor. Uh, and you perceive them to be sailors. And they would be right about here at this table of six. There are three sailors. Where? You guys are right over here sitting uh, and then Robert is moving from the office over. So are you those guys, still halflings? The sailors are human. The human. halflings listening to them intently uh, seem to be enchanted by the sea tail that they are going over. You can't really hear the particulars, but since all three of you rolled a two before game, uh, that is what you notice most of all in this place. Well, I'm heading straight towards them. These guys look like they've they been through hell. One of them points out that the dragon was bigger than this place, and it just breathed rusty metal at us. We barely escaped with our lives, and two of our brave souls perished. It was very sad. But I'm ha! We had to fight a kraken! A kraken rabbit! They know the dragon. They know the dragon's a 
Hey! <laughs> they look over at the halflings. Is there something wrong with him? <laughs> the halflings don't know you from Adam, and they're like, so tell, tell us more. Tell us more about your sea voyage. <clears throat> Another one. One of the <laughs> You know you're really loud. Yeah, I know. They, they look at you. And like, Is there something I can help you with? No, nah, I'm just trying to give a better story. Tell us about that. One sounds a little weak. Dragons. I walk with dragons. Tell us about your face, half orc. <laughs> well. At your mama moment, didn't complain, did at, she? At that moment in time, you feel a hand on your shoulder. And you feel it roughly push you out of the way. Oh, a female oh. half-orc leans in and says, oh. do you have a problem with half-orcs? <laughs> uh, you look at this lady and she's she's got a bow over her shoulder. But she's she gorgeous. Beard? She's gorgeous to you. Okay. She's got the chin hair, the nice fangs. Uh, she's got that perfect green tint that you half works really enjoy. On her and, fangs? Yeah. And she is uh, everywhere. <laughs> and, and I you like can tell hair, chin hair. <laughs> this this chick means business. The three human sailors decide hmm, odds aren't really in our favor. The three halflings are gone. Meant no disrespect to you, milady. We've been on board a ship for a while and had our own problems. I apologize if you took that wrong. She I didn't mean any said. disrespect to your mama last night either, son. <laughs> get him, Ray, get him. <laughs> they look at you but maintain. Uh, Damn let us, it. Let, let us buy you and your... Meek husband here a drink. <laughs> That's one. Yeah, yeah. That's right. The owner you see the size of her, she probably the owner who you just got your room from comes over and says, Y'all saw the sign. Ain't no fighting. Are we gonna have a problem? The lady looks at him and goes, You know me. I'm not gonna cause no problems that I didn't start. But I'm not bagging away from any problems. The owner looks at her and says, I know that, Dalton, but you need to bring it down. <laughs> yeah, I like the way you work that in there. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. That's right. Be nice until it's time not to be nice. So she walks away and heads over towards the bar. The humans now have a three to one advantage on you. But they go back to drinking. I'm going to walk to the bar. Why, I'm, hello. <laughs> I'm headed hey. upstairs. All right, Leaf. You're will, you're you're you got to do the how you. you Leaf goes upstairs. Uh, do you go to that stairs right there closest to your room? Yes, then? I'll go by right. the old lady. <clears throat> you, you see the lavatory? The old lady, you don't notice her. She just blends in to you. Yeah, but... uh, you go upstairs, you see the lavatory, you see the open area, you see the, the working uh, class down at the far end of the hall. Uh, you find your room to be just as elegant as Copius has found his, although your bed is going to match your frame, whereas Copius's bed would match your frame as well, but he can spread out. So. Yeah, not a problem. Uh, now, did you want to order any food before you went up there, or are you, you good? I ate downstairs. Fair and enough. And I went back to the buffet and, and reloaded on the, the sure. Wong Fu uh, pancakes there. <laughs> and took them with me. Uh, Julie Newmar will be happy. Yeah. Uh, <clears throat> so you're good. Uh, Man Feng, did you want to talk to the sailors or bypass them? Oh. Uh, I'll, I'll go past them. It was like the lady still up the fire. She seems, seems like a cool gal. You don't you don't notice her. Which one? Yeah, the I don't notice her notice cool, her. but I'm going to the, the Peruvian. You dog. notice the uh you, you know, do you know if you have a room? 
I don't have a room. All right. Uh, uh, I don't even know. If well, I man, Fang, if you're, with, are you all following me? Circling. Are you following me? Circling until I find something interesting. Hey, I don't. Know. Are you following Grandpa? Or are you following me? No, I'll just keep looking around. I He's going to walk around. I've only seen the buffet. Roll me, roll me a D eight there, man, Fang. All right, that sounds cool. I will. I, I, I have. Oh, but you rolled it. Go. Man, ah! should have stuck with it. Was one. My first roll was an eight, but then I rerolled it accidentally. I picked it up. Not too late. You, you, you notice uh, Dalton and Robert talking about stuff. Uh, over to Felix. Felix, uh, you've uh, you just don't feel right about not throwing the bones, but you know what? Then you hear. Oh yeah, you know, there's a high stakes game going on in the back room. Two halflings are discussing <laughs> that. Uh, but then you notice, uh, friend, how are you doing? Comes from behind you. I turn around and look. It is the Amigo family that you left in the dust a while back. <laughs> They have caught up to you. The halfling family headed towards Raglan to face off with the Von Trapp family. Ah, yes. Hello, friend. How are you doing? We're doing well, but we are trying to remember that ditty you uh, hummed at us. Could you remind me of what that was? Oh, yes. We here, comes the king, here comes the king. Here comes the number one. Uh, yeah, let me tell you. Did you get to meet the king? What if I told you he is here tonight? Does he appreciate the song? He wrote the song. He loves the song. It's really? his favorite. Legend would... has it that he once shaved his entire body <laughs> to get the song tattooed on his back. We would be more than interested in that if you could point us well, 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 if it isn't the Amigo family. You notice just behind the Amigo family is another troop of halfling actors all dressed in uh, leader hosen. <laughs> oh, boy. The Amigo family turns around. Ah, the van traps. I thought I smelled you here. Ooh, and there's a great, great deal of animosity building as uh, the senior members of both groups kind of go nose to nose. Well, uh, I see you brought your instruments. Are you going to be shooing cattle with that? Uh, a variety of what could best be described as vicious mockery is <laughs> thrown at them. And you are kind of somewhat trapped in the, not quite middle, but uh, they ask if this is your errand boy. <laughs> errand boy? Do I look like an errand boy to you, Lederhosen? I don't know. Go fetch me a drink and we'll see. <laughs> <laughs> okay. I'm hearing songs from West Side Story as this is going on. <laughs> when you're a jet, you're the top cat round. So, uh, Felix, you seem to uh, have embedded yourself firmly on the Amigo family side of things. I didn't realize it, but yes, apparently. The senior nope. member of the Von Trapp does a quick little uh, river dance step. It's a dance off, Felix. It's a dance off. <laughs> Oh, can I just see the dance off going on and just jump in the middle? Not only it's can you see off, it, bro. everybody here has stopped drinking and is watching it, except for Leaf and Copius, who are upstairs, and the Peruvian uh, mummy next to you. But Felix, you look around and you can tell the spotlight is on you, and Danny Terrio wants to dance off. <laughs> well, Felix. Is in Get luck. Felix. Felix has two moves. So the first one that he's going to serve up is a very easy, nice little flossing maneuver. Oh. Children might know that. And yes. then he's going to go, what? Well, somebody smarter than an amigo. <clears throat> <clears throat> throat> 
Wow, these visuals are not the greatest. <laughs> hey, I, 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 was a drinker. I, I was a drinker, not a dancer. <laughs> so, well, the more you drink, the better you dance. Exactly. So Felix's second move and last move, but they don't know that yet, is the step dance that Borat does. Nice. So he's going to do that. Uh, what? <laughs> Give me a performance check on this second one. Ooh, <laughs> ooh, that's not good. Uh, He's going to trip uh, over his feet. Yeah, maybe, maybe. Uh, 15. If I roll higher, I, I got one move left. At 20. <laughs> <laughs> uh, uh. He does the move that he calls the running halfling. And the crowd goes bananas. Uh, go fetch me that beer, Aaron, boy. Ooh, he just made you a bitch. <laughs> <laughs> I think I got Nat scared. 20, baby. Nat 20. You're lucky you didn't moonwalk. No, I think I, I think I can help you with a few moves. Yeah, where's, I, I yeah where's Man Fang Man Man got your back. Let where's Man Fang when I need him? Yeah. All right, fine, fine. Go tag in. I got served right. by the best. You're just lucky my crew isn't here right now. <laughs> <laughs> we got a performance go, to put yep, on. I'll so. go get some drinks. I'll go get some drinks for you. What's your name, sir? Something stupid Von Trapp or something? Elias Von Say that, Trapp. Put the, the tab Trapp on him. Put the tab on him when he pays That's exactly drinks. what I'm going to do. <laughs> 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 nice. <laughs> I'm gonna go to the bar the and pull uh, the full Dumb and Dumber. Well, if that isn't Elias Von Trapp over there, Seabass is gonna be picking up the tab. Bass is picking you up guys, the tab. You, you guys will not be welcome in Raglan. <laughs> oh, because we're, we're so not welcome anywhere we come from. No, uh, not guess, once we've been there. <laughs> I guess you've been uh, thrown out of the shop. You see what looks to be a paladin going in next. He has. I don't know, vials of bullshit holy water is what you can tell. Uh, and he goes on a rant about how his God is better than any God here. Da, 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 da. He goes in and you notice zero line waiting to get in to see that guy. That's uh, a good sign. There's not a big line, not a long uh, wait. Nobody wants that guy's a jackass. Uh, well, what would you um, I was wondering the the cross that he's wearing, or just the whole atmosphere of him. Does it match those um, uh, neo Nazi skinheads? Yeah, yeah, the, the Nazis. Nah, he's he's got a different flavor altogether. It's just one of exuding arrogance. Okay, what's on the walls? Can I get a feel of voice stone? Holy symbols, uh, vials of probably holy water, holy water, holy water vial carriers. Uh, manuscripts of uh, the workings of Toulouse, his uh, <laughs> deity, uh, and a few other religious trinkets. He even has a toenail of Toulouse, but it's very expensive. I don't know what a Toulouse is. That's his deity. Okay, um, I go up to him and ask, um, what do you have to sell? Brent, I just want to hear Eternal salvation, my diminutive friend. Have you heard the word of Toulouse? I have heard many things of Toulouse. <laughs> Allow me to tell you from my heart what this is all about. He goes on a five-minute rant that bores the shit out of you about how the holiness and the light and blah, 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 blah. <laughs> Um, you, got you do not any, get a good um, feeling on this guy. Yeah, already. Um, do, do you have any uh potions, any um poisons or anything like that? Poison. Poison well, any... for peasants. What do you have? <laughs> 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 yeah. Yes, he is. Bitter pale. <laughs> you know what, uh, Hoggis? <laughs> give me a wisdom check. Uh, you want to roll much higher than rather than way low. <laughs> um, Dexterous halfling, not a smart one. Yeah, 14. 
you are not, uh, you do not succumb to his whims and uh, comments about how the, you are not turned over to the followings and teachings of Toulouse. If you would have rolled below a six, you would have been some zealot zombie. <laughs> 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 and he'll be drinking the Kool-Aid. <laughs> oh my god! Um, I'll make my I had my sneakers. <laughs> <laughs> yes, <laughs> this is Sir David Koresh. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god! I'm I'm right, fire to, he's gonna set fire to the end. I'm right now. <laughs> <laughs> Of course, he doesn't know who he is, so it doesn't matter. Uh, so, Haggis, uh, this guy's selling religious shit. I'll uh, make my but, way out. But the holy water might come in handy if you meet up with any undead. Oh, that's a good point. We are going to a, a, a watchtower thing. How much for the holy water, kind sir? Someone as attentive as you. If he, ca- if he talks too long, I'm leaving. Like, I'm not... Someone as attentive as you who can see the holiness. Five gold pieces of vial. Guaranteed gonna... to protect you. Okay, I'll take one vial. Fair enough. This is the first one I've sold in a month. <laughs> <laughs> if I undo the, the, the top of it and smell it and, and, and inspect yes. it, do, do I feel anything from it? Water. Sure, the entire vial on top of my head. Do I feel anything? Ah, I can see you're a church going boy there, Nicholas. Because <laughs> <laughs> you uh, could obviously smell it. Yeah. You want to spike uh, Robert's drink with it, see if anything. <laughs> <laughs> Don't be hateful. Uh, actually, I think holy water would have hurt you a while back there, uh, Copious. Uh, holy water did hurt me a while back. <laughs> so, Haggis, you got yourself one vial of five gold pieces. Cool. Um, I'll make my way to the bar. Cool beans. Uh, Manfang is there, along with Robert, who is trying to make time with Dalton the Ranger. Uh, oh, yeah. she, she orders two high boys. And instead of the normal pint, it's a double pint. She slides one over to Robert and says, what brings you to the armpit of society, my friend? I'm on a quest for God. There is no God. No, there's not. But these bitches put a tattoo on me. It's making me want to do a job. Tattoo, you say? (laughs) Wow. <laughs> hey, stop that. Stop it. Uh, hold, 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 hold on. I, I got to see how. I didn't show any. I just exposed. Uh, digging what you're selling. <laughs> yeah. It's been a while <laughs> since I've seen a, a fellow Orkian. What brings you to uh, the armpit? We're going to a tower lo- located nearby. Do some mission for some nasty nuns. Raglan Tower? Yes. You know of it? Yeah, it uh, guards the coastal port. That's where all these, yeah, little, I know. these little shit musicians are headed to. There's a big music festival there. Yeah, One thing I can't yeah. abide by is little shits. Hate they them. are. Oh, God. Let me tell you about this one. It, it looks like a zonky shit. A, block about this high sells about that time haggis comes up and goes hey robert (laughs) (laughs) hey best friend (laughs) oh my god i'm gonna say you're a cb but i'm not gonna translate that because this is pg-13 i'm just saying Uh, this is the second pile hey robert what? Or, uh, hey, Robert, you want me to get you a drink for you? No, I'm good. Thanks. Is, is Felix near this interaction? Because I'm just he's being so friendly. Everybody. Oh, yeah. yeah. Oh, yeah. You, you nice. are waiting in line to get the drinks for the Von Trapp family. <laughs> yeah, I, I'm going to hand him a key. First round's on the Von Trapp's over there. 
I'm going to hand uh, Haggis <laughs> here. This is some room for you and uh, uh, Manfang. Here's a key for you guys. Okay, I'll go All up right. in a bit. I'll go up in a bit. I still need to, you know, hang out by the bar. All that. Okay, we'll hang out <laughs> at the other end. Hey, why don't we slide down a little bit so we're not, you know, bothered by the riffraff, short people. Can I say hello to the person he's talking to, the girl? Sure, yeah, go ahead. Hey, nice to meet you. Mm. Are you his son? <laughs> well, we don't yeah. know yet. Son of a biatch. Well, that's so beautiful. And, and just to clarify, this is in-game only. In-game only. Okay. Uh, you know what? I'm going to... I'm gonna leave you to your uh, cute little friends. <laughs> I'm gonna I'm gonna go drink on my own. Nice job. Nice good, job. Good, good luck. <laughs> I, I, I hope you find Raglan Tower. Okay. She goes over a couple tables over. Uh, she sits down at a table. There's some halflings there, and whoop, they're gone. So she's sitting alone at a table. Takes the dagger out, sticks it in the middle. Tells the waitress to bring her over some cheese and crackers and another tall boy. Haggis, give me that yeah. key back, you son of a bitch. Get out of here. <laughs> Find your own room tonight. All I can say <laughs> is you were smooth right up till Haggis showed up. <laughs> That's what happens when you get crap stained. Because the, the, yeah, you got crap stained. <laughs> 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 that shit just don't wash out. <laughs> he looks at you and he goes, oh, I ruined something. You got crap stained. <laughs> uh, so, uh, <laughs> Robert, Manfang, Haggis, and Felix, you are all around the bar. Okay. Oh, no. did, uh, did I see the interaction with Felix and the Von Traps? Oh, yeah. Everybody, everybody saw that. Yeah, everybody saw All right. That. I will go over and say <sighs> your dancing was horrible. But I can help. You know, dirty yeah. dancing. A little okay, bit. okay, I'll no. take you up on it because these. You're gonna dirty traps. dance with Felix? <laughs> God no, bro! Please, please, please tell me you're gonna lift him into the yeah. short rafter. <laughs> yeah. Please. Just break his back on like a support. That's Felix had the time of his life. Hey, but you know what? Getting your spine broken is way better than getting crap stained. <laughs> <laughs> See? Frank just makes sure I would put shit on every game. I tell you. Somehow, no monkey could throw shit, but he threw shit on me somehow. <laughs> but now, hold on. To be fair, uh, Nicholas... Is yeah. that not what you would have done anyway? What? Walked over and ruined his good time. I mean, I, it wasn't perfect. In Crapstain's <laughs> mind, it was not purposeful. He was just <clears throat> making the best out of his friends. It's, right? it's, it's timing. Actually, it's it's timing. Yeah. yeah it, 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 he's still a learner. He's still a learner. I don't know his age. It's, yeah. you got crap Four sticks. Glue so, sticks in my brain tell me I'm... Uh, uh, so, of you four, everybody roll a d20. No modifiers, just straight up d20. <laughs> oh, yeah. 19. 19, 18. 19. Uh, the 19, uh, Man Fang, as you look around, watching this interaction, checking out the uh, half orc female, you know, just kind of doing this, <clears throat> and you look up over the bar. And there's a portrait over the bar. Ooh. And it looks I've never really familiar. No, this and, and you look over at Felix and you look back up and you look at Felix. <laughs> it's him naked. Uh, Felix? It's not just him naked. <laughs> oh, it's not just me naked. Hey, hey friend. <laughs> Does that yeah, you know, What's Felix, the, the image that you stole back from the pink house, uh, at originally penned in Fatar, appears to have been cupping. <laughs> well, 
I technically, uh, Copious owns the copyright to that, so if they have copies and they haven't paid for the royalty. They have not paid for the royalties. Uh, now so your copyright's only good if it's been registered in this country. Uh, uh, you've not been to Thornfield, so I, I, no one no, would. You, but, it's uh, no good. Your copyright's no good. No, no. I, I, I all my travels <laughs> go in my diary, my journal. <laughs> Should I cut it off? Gold bitters compounds for legal filing. Do you want to burn it or cut it off? Uh, Felix, uh, a young barmaid with a charisma of two, not 20. 20. Not 20. That's what my third today uh, yeah. looks at. Yeah, it, use them up. See, sees everybody pointing. Huh. Is that you, Stretch? <laughs> Why, yes, it is. Felix the Great, darling. He calls her friend over. Hey. What's her friend's charisma? Yeah. <laughs> uh -oh. It's a wingman. Uh-oh, I got wing. I got crap stains. 16. Oh. oh, oh. Not too bad. Hold on, crap stains coming. <laughs> I think uh, Felix. This interaction going on. A third evil. one is also 16. These are pretty barmaids, and all are intrigued that... A celebrity is in the bar and rush over to tell the owner. Uh, meanwhile, everyone... That, oh, oh. Felix, if you're any kind of a good guy at all, you'll introduce him to your dexterous friend. Or your yeah, right friend stretcher. <laughs> remember that Felix still has some of that uh, enchantment from Georgina's place. And I think What's he's going to break that out. I got three hits of it. I think I'm going to be breaking that out tonight. Tiger penis powder. I just want to know, do any of them ask if Felix can actually get his ankle back behind his head like that? Like in not, a painting? Not yet, because we're moving back upstairs on Copious <laughs> even cool leaf. Down. You're all right. Cool it down. Thank Five. you, Copious. Copious, there is a knock on the door. Oh, Copious, who is it? Uh, Tis the owner. All right. Uh, yeah, Copious will open the door. And, and cut off whatever's about to be said and say, oh, this is room is wonderful. This is exactly what I need. I'm going to refer <laughs> this establishment to everyone I meet on my travels being a business traveler. Might I ask a question? Of course. I have been told by the stable boys that you have a, an allotment of alcohol. Um, to make sure that it was not stolen, we went ahead and inventoried it. But I, noticed, I noticed the label on it. Yes. Would you by chance, and he looks over, sees the guy. Would this be you? I, does it say Volt Bitters best? It does. I said on page that's, six. That's that is absolutely me. I quit. Hey, take it. <laughs> oh, you can't quit yet because they haven't played their song yet. Uh yeah. That's why I walked away. Do you have any surplus available? I understand that you have an affiliate here, but I was wondering if we might be able to have a taste test. Uh, well, I think he's going yes. to the nice discover the toaster. Uh, yeah, I, Copius always carries a sample on him permanently. So I do have a small uh, surplus that I can share with you so you can get a sampling of both Volbitter's Best and Volbitter's Black Label our top shelf uh, drink as well. One moment, uh, he steps out and he knocks on Leaf's door. I'll answer. Excuse me, you are his traveling companion, are you not? I am. Could you tell me what his name is? Copious. Does he dabble in ale sales? Uh, yes, he does. How is your room, sir? My room is wonderful. Thank you very much. Is there anything you need? We would, we will attend to your No, I'm, I'm good, I think. I am good. That. I'm looking forward to a good night's rest. Very good, sir. You have, a, you have a great night. Please let us know if there's anything Thank that you. we can do for you. Uh, he, return, he returns to you, Copious, and he goes, oh, I am, I am duly impressed that I am in the same room as a... Uh, 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 a famous person. 
So if you have any of those samples, I'd love to try them. So, yep. Uh, do you have uh, some small sample cups? Little oh, yeah. yeah he, he whips out a little silver cup. Oh, what a surprise. All right. I'll Copious will go through his routine. He said, here's a sampling of the Volbitter's Best, our traditional ale. Pour it out and let him have a sample of it. It is the orange and yellow. Oh, he's Come on, one. Bad die. <clears throat> Two. Oh. <laughs> Brutal. Yeah. Brutal. Yes. Yes. <laughs> oh. Oh. <laughs> oh. Oh. A fine liqueur, my friend. <laughs> I have some business to attend to. Wait, oh. wait, wait. I, oh, I, I don't. I must really. I think you want to try the black label first. You know what? I, this is our finest I, I, spirit. I, I'm currently working. I. One moment, he walks into the lavatory and you hear kind of <laughs> scooping of water. Out of the shitter to get the taste out of his mouth? Comes out. Let's do half. Let's do half on that, that black label. Okay. My well, I, very good. Like very, very high quality. Very good. <laughs> <coughs> ah. I, I, I all right. I'll give him right. give him a sample of the the black label. Let's let's use the green and the white. Shall please we? be a one. Please be a one. Dirty twenty. Dirty one, twenty. To one. Single digit. It's an Single eight. Single digit. Is it? It's an oh, eight. Ah, jeez. <laughs> uh, you can't buy me a barrel. <clears throat> well, that is uh. Way better than the previous one, my friend. Uh, I will go ahead and get back with you on that. And he whoop leaves. Uh, back, back down. Uh, he comes down. Uh, that uh, guide is going to be out of every room. He's a liar. Well, it'll just shift rooms into the lavatory. <laughs> but just page six. The paper. That'll work. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, what else do I have down here? Uh, Felix the portrait. Uh, oh, okay. Uh, well, Felix, your likeness is being displayed in full prominence. People are coming up, noticing it, and doing the... Uh... Huh. Uh, I'm just going to say they're realizing it's it been is. well touched up. <laughs> Photoshop. Uh, <laughs> the owner comes by. It's his head on my body. Yeah, the owner comes by and he is <laughs> literally spitting on the floor trying to get to taste of something out of his mouth. You're not really sure what. Uh, he sees a dog. I'm going to look over and say, did he you know that a bitter piss? <laughs> you got to taste You just drunk a bitter piss. Sees a dog licking his butt and says, can I have some of that? He, he licks the back of Robert's girlfriend. <laughs> ah, ah, ah. Uh, asks her for anything that she's got. He, she gives him a squirrel tail. <laughs> Throws it to the side and he's stopped by the three very attractive uh, waitresses who point out that we have a celebrity in here. He comes up, uh, demands an ale immediately. Times two. Whoosh, whoosh, uh, up. Does the no, you're still good. Does the uh, swoosh uh, and spits out. Ha! Huh, that does bear a uh, strange resemblance to you. Uh, is that you? Why, yes, it is. Can't you tell? Uh, not currently. <laughs> there you go. Felix drop trow and hook that ankle behind your ear. Yeah, I'm not gonna do that. I'll just explain that it's clearly the fact that you just had two a double fisting of ale. According to the painting, you had a double fisting. 
Wow. If I recall, oh, the game, I, I thought about going there myself. <laughs> We're shaking hands, boys. <laughs> anyway. Yes, that is me. It was before the incident. But yes, that was me when I was a little younger. I don't suppose I could get uh, your signature on that uh, image. Absolutely. For the low, low price of... He, ca he calls for a bottle of the, the finest wine. Give this man the, the bottle. That's the damnedest thing. That's exactly the price I was going to ask for. Would you, after you sign, would you say a few words to everybody? Sure. Cool. Go ahead. <laughs> <laughs> Hello. Every, everybody. I, I am Felix the Great, mm -hmm. uh, world traveler. Ask me anything you would like. Yes, you there with the pointy nose. I noticed that that uh, that uh, the, the 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 picture's been folded over. Did that hurt when they did that? Well, as you can see, I am not the picture. The picture is. Well, hey, wait a minute. He said that he's not the picture. So why is why? Well, why? no. You see, let me explain to you. I don't this think is, this guy's for of me. <laughs> they didn't fold me in half. They only folded the picture. Much I don't think like that's I possible. can fold his piece. I'm Felix. I'm Felix the Great. <laughs> I'm a happy as a little girl. <laughs> Everybody look at me. Shut up, Robert. Robert, <laughs> Next uh, you, question. Feel, you feel a tap on your shoulder. Uh, yes. The ranger says, is this, this guy's with you too? No. Uh, yes. God, I've been locked into a hellish nightmare. <laughs> <laughs> hey, hey, Robert. Your life hey, Robert. <laughs> I mean, <laughs> I just <laughs> runs back over and goes, what you guys doing? <laughs> When you got this much shit on a creek, you got to put something pretty on a board to sail down with it. And that's where I come in. I guess he's standing on a table going, Robert, I'm over here. <laughs> I got I've got our you. table. I've got our table. <laughs> <laughs> I'm going to throw an apple to have this and say, a gold piece says you can't shoot that out of his hand. <laughs> uh, Do gold if you hit him. Could you give me an introduction to him? The picture is a fake. That's his head on my body. <laughs> no, I've seen your chest. <laughs> That's not the part of the body I'm talking about. <laughs> they call me Yam Man. <laughs> ah. That's unfortunate. <laughs> so they you call my dice well and down. You are a truly half orc man. <laughs> Only the better halves. <laughs> Uh, yeah. Sure! Felix! Felix! She'd like to be introduced to I you. have another question for the individual. This is uh, the last question. I Yes, you. Was this done in watercolor or tempura painting? And exactly how was the lighting perceived to go ahead and show off the assets as they were? Well, the assets, first of all, to answer you, that, that's really two questions. I can't answer both of them. I'm, we're very limited for time, unfortunately. The first answer is it was actually using condiment packets that were stolen from many restaurants across the nation. So it's not quite watercolor. It's not quite tempura paint. Uh, it's more of a yes. Um, Did he say condoms? That he's painted in condoms? Is that what I heard? I don't think I he's answering my question. It's a two-point question. And the second was, the, the artist did use a little bit of creativity because they were worried that if they the painted me in my fire. full glory, that uh, it would be so shocking that they would not be able to show it to, how do I put this, the fairer of the sexes. He said he's got a small penis. That's a lie. <laughs> That's not what I'm saying. That's, That's kind of what I was thinking. So big, I don't think that's hey, Robert, that's, that's, that's your Robert. Mr. Cabrina. They named Vienna Little Hot Dog Factory. <laughs> hot 
Hot Haggis is, is yelling to you. Right? His nickname in college was Tiny Chubb. Uh, uh, Felix, uh, Robert brings up uh, Dalton to you, and you still have the three little ones fawning at your movements, uh, and they would ask that you sign their shoulder blade. Why? Wow, that went PG-13. I will take the pen and very... I will sign the shoulder blade. Uh, Dalton steps up, pushes the little ones. I think you and I have some... Go fast, say, go! I go like fast, say, get them! I would like to show you how to improve your... Uh, Dancing moves. That's Crabstein's father. I would like to push. Wait, can I push her? Can I push the ranger out of the way and step in and say, "I would like to show, I have better dance moves." Yeah, why don't you push the wall? Because that's three little girls still there. Or I, I, I mean, little. I mean, they're, they're girls. I'm gonna ask I mean, Walton, it's but only that big. <laughs> you know, uh, I, I, I saw you that. earlier with a <laughs> friend, and you know, what's going on there? I live my life as I wish. And right oh, now, perfect. I wish you. Right, that's a horrible nice. wish. You should wish for money. It'd be yes. great. Show me some dance moves. Let's go upstairs to my room. Why is there there a dance? dance in the room? Dance there an upstairs dance floor? Okay. Felix, that, that's, Felix is going to think that there might be an upstairs <clears throat> dance floor because I don't think he's been upstairs yet. He has not. Uh, you are going to go up by the working girls and men. Uh, Manfang, Robert, Haggis, uh, Copius is in his room. Leaf is in his room. Felix is going to uh, Dalton's room, apparently. Uh, what would you three like to do? Oh, by the way, uh, the Von Trapp family singers uh, are starting to... Just wait till they get their bar tab. <laughs> As the crowd disperses, I, 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 I tell them I, I taught Felix how to do that move. <laughs> I'm going to play for them. Okay, first you off, play. the three adolescent halfling girls <laughs> are playing uh, over them. A one, but a 16 and an 18. So, Haggis, two of the girls are interested and ask you to recreate the image, literally. <laughs> well, um, I would need a and, partner. And they they uh, suggest uh, their room. Um, of course. Where are you going to get the monkey? <laughs> One of the girls can play the monkey. So they lead you back into the <laughs> back corner where the <laughs> staff quarters are at and uh, put you into a tight room. Uh... Uh, right here. Okay? So you, okay. you are in the corner of the room. <laughs> they are completely entranced at your ability to dance and ask you to recreate it exactly. Oh, buddy. Okay. Sans, <laughs> sans clothes. Okay. You, you but, can put them right here on this, this like nightstand. We want to see this. Fair, oh. but if you would like to recreate the painting, I need okay. a assistant. Okay. Uh, we will we will draw straws here, and one of us will certainly be happy to be your assistant. But first, of course. go ahead, and uh, we'd like to see you in all your glory. Okay, I, with my dexterity, I recreate the image. This is cool. not hand behind the uh, foot, foot, uh, ankle behind the head, all that. Now, give me your performance roll. Let's make sure you do it right. God, roll off the counter. Well. 17, because I have a plus one in performance. It is amazing how you are able to loop your ankle over your head. The girls grab your clothes and run out the door. <laughs> <laughs> no, you're just a fuck stain. <laughs> how does it feel? 
this place, they're, all, they're everyone's dying. Everyone's Wait, he dying. should have to roll again to see if he can get his ankles from back from behind his head. Or the sheer moves. panic that he falls off. Did, he he falls off he that. Did he grab his gear too, or just his clothes? All this stuff. <laughs> now, Haggis, <laughs> you notice now that there are no pillowcases or sheets in this room. <laughs> Is the door locked? Can I get to the door before they close it? Oh, no, you had your ankle behind your head there, Slick. <laughs> okay, all right, all right. There's hey. a lesson here. <laughs> he's just not picking up on it. Yeah, <laughs> he, he, he's not getting it. See, it's not wonderful when somebody craps <laughs> things, is it? So they have, you are in this room. They went out this room. Give me a perception check to see if you heard the door slam. Uh, 14. Yeah, a door one of these three doors or four doors rather shut but you're you have to unlace your ankle from behind your head you are book naked and uh you know what d12 against me let's see if we'll give you a break on this technically thing. he's wearing a tiara i have a couple of, i have i have some powers <laughs> i could do maybe maybe d12 oh d12 oh. um 5 Nope, there is nothing here that can hide your modesty. Okay, why would I need to? I'm a crab. Big dexterity. Big dexterity. I have nothing to hide. Sure. Okay. He is. He he has a great self. I fix myself and I I I, I go out the door. That's the first time I've heard him stutter. (laughs) Yeah, I got him. I got him good. Uh, Felix, upstairs in the room, uh, the half orc Dalton is putting the moves on you and asks if you like it rough. It's gone very on PG. If you want to know what this is going to be like, you remember yeah, Rocky you, you, 4 where she, he comes up and goes, I will break you. <laughs> well, you huh. Man Fang, you'd think it's not PG-13, but this you is, gotta, this is you, gone, gotta, you gotta wait. <laughs> I'm pretty sure this is going to be death by snoo snoo. Oh, this, yeah, I think so. Felix would say, "Yeah, yeah, you know, we can do it." Yeah, I would like to show. I would like to show you a rope trick. Oh, okay. I, yeah, wraps it around like a hang. I, I think uh, on the way up the stairs, Felix realized that where we were going and decided to possibly prematurely. Use one of the bad words. Bad word. Yeah, uh, no I knew what I said. Decided to take one of his herbal supplements. <clears throat> sure, predetermined action. Sure, that works. Yeah, yeah. Because You're he didn't want, this. didn't want Dalton to see him taking the supplement. All right, yeah, yeah, no. Give me a stealth. Yeah, you know, Give me yeah, a stealth. So Let's see how you do this. I'm, She's yeah. leading, so you can roll an advantage. <coughs> <coughs> Are you holding on by her sword? But get a sleight of hand. What is a modifier? <laughs> and please let there be a modifier. Stealth. <laughs> oh, stealth. Okay. Uh, eight. And that was that advantage. She uh, shakes her head and she says, "You'll be fine. You'll be fine." Oh, uh, so, okay. Perfect. So, so inside the room, she says, "I like it a little wild. I want to show you a rope trick, if that's okay." <laughs> okay. Gonna tie the rope so, around your so, neck. So give me your hands. <laughs> okay. <laughs> now, now lift, lift your knees up so that your ankles are close to your hand. <laughs> Hold on. <laughs> <laughs> and she whips out a, a a piece of thick cloth. He goes, "Come on." Come on, you'll want to bite down on this. Just let it happen. Because it, it, it might it might shock you at first, but you'll be fine. It it, it goes a lot easier if you just let it happen. Relax. <laughs> Got to relax. Okay. You'll be fine. You aren't gonna get hurt. <laughs> you will, Felix you will, is still I don't want you to hear this, son. <laughs> Felix is still fully clothed, right? Mm-hmm. Oh, okay. For, For now. now. For now. <laughs> so you you get hog tied. She goes, okay, oh. now now open your mouth. Okay. She puts up this leather strap in there and wraps it around your head. And she goes, are, are, are you comfy? 
Nothing new really, for you. No. <laughs> she pulls out a piece of paper, and it's a wanted poster from Craigwitch. <laughs> uh, <is> this you? <laughs> it's you, and kind of rubs it in your face. Uh, downstairs, uh, Man Fang and Robert, you hear a shriek from the far corner of the building, and you notice the top of Haggis's head, and everybody's jumping out of the way as he rounds the half wall. You notice that he is buck naked. Do I have like I, anything I could throw on him? This is not good. I'm going to start playing the theme song from Benny Hill at this point on sure. my loop. The, the Von Traps pick up on it. <laughs> <All right. laughs> the owner comes over and he has a stick with a nail right through it. Yeah. And he's batting his hand with the blunt side and he's <laughs> with the, with the right for Haggis. I I I I I'm gonna give can I give do I have any cloth on me? Yeah, just, what, just let me. Oh, like, yeah. like a cloak or like a coat or like a. There's a cocktail napkin. I'll, I'll, I'll throw on that. I'll throw on the cocktail there's napkin. Your, there's your greasy napkin used to wipe your face. Off your <laughs> he has one of those lobster bibs. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. I'll give him the lobster bib. That'll be great. Well, he is a halfling, so it's shorter, so it kind of gets most of the dexterity hidden away. Uh, <laughs> the owner, Haggis, wants to know where your clothes are. Three of your um, a, a worker whores took my clothes. <laughs> <clears throat> Waitresses. You mean my daughters? <laughs> <laughs> I don't know him. I don't know him. Hey, why don't you say something so mean about his daughters? Hey, let me go show you where the room's at. Don't look here. <laughs> yeah, man, let's go check that out. Uh the last 20 minutes, this whole thing goes so <laughs> fast. Well, you know, um, there, there was a lot of expectation, and I knew there would be, and I'm like, eh, it's so fast, boys. <laughs> uh, so, Haggis, after insulting the owner's daughters. Of course. And now you notice uh, there is a slight resemblance. There. That could be bad. Oh, I should have. Oh, I should have. Uh... Okay. Where are your clothes? <laughs> You, they, your beautiful daughters have took them. <laughs> <laughs> wow, what a change! Uh, he starts to look crap. around. Give, <laughs> give me a, give me a perception check to see if you spot them, Haggis. Uh, five. <laughs> <laughs> they are in the wind with your stuff. They went that way. Uh, oh, very nice. Uh, Man Fang and Robert, as you Haggis is gonna die here. Uh, <laughs> you notice a wizard esque figure going into the shop. Did you say wizard or lizard? Wizard esque. No, I got I'm listening. sorcerer, warlock, wizard, something like that. All right, wait, is the shop still um the paladin guy? No, they're switching. Oh, no. They switch constantly. All right. Well, I don't know <laughs> let's that. Let's go over there. Yeah, hey, let's go over there. Over to there. get away from this. Some um, <laughs> um, hey, stranger, don't call names. And then I'll walk away. <laughs> so you guys are going to the Wizard. magic shop? Okay, cool. Yeah, we don't know that thing. So the, Hannes, give me a persuasion check. To magic see shop? Smoothed it over. Nice. Okay, all right. <laughs> nice and easy. Nice and easy. You That's mean the magic nice. shop? Uh well, you know, because of uh, advent. No, it's just magic. Oddfishgames.com. Our, yeah, well, seven. our uh, adventure seven? It's No, magic. no, no, it's plus seven. I'm just trying to math real quick. <laughs> Smells like um, a magic shop. Oh, there you go. I think in 22 or 23. <sighs> Calls for an apron, so now you look like a fry cook. Uh, greasy fry cook too. Not a not a quality apron. Not a not a not the nice jacket. A shitty apron. Uh, he throws it at you. Tells you to put it on. Your bare buttocks clearly hang out of it. Uh, and he tells you to wait here while he goes to try and find your stuff. Instead, <laughs> instead, of, instead of instead of covering my my lower half, I'm gonna cover my top half, like my nipples. Not not the lower half, just the nipples. 
You don't. Okay. This is uh, Jason. Who's that's your problem to deal with, not mine. Who's <laughs> done this? Uh, inside the magic shop, you meet uh, <laughs> great Presto. Uh, he is a human. Uh, he seems to be a bit aloof. Hmm. What can I do for you? Fine. Uh, people. People will work. <laughs> I, I, you're welcome. I'm um, recognized as a he, him. <laughs> My adjectives are he, him, and it. Uh, definitely it. <laughs> are you related to that guy out there that was naked? God, Dude, no. Who, God. That guy. I've never seen that guy. Came out with those sailors. sailors. Yeah, the yeah. sailors, right? Yeah, the yeah, sailors. sailors. I don't know. That guy's a moron. We don't know him at all. Robert, think, don't leave me. Hey, Robert, <laughs> oh, Robert can you give me something for the show? My name's, <laughs> my name's my name's John. 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 Noodle. Noodle. Yes. Noodle. Zeppelin. Noodle. My name's Zeppelin. I don't know who he's talking to. What can I do for you, fine people? Ish. I would like to buy some potions. I am an alchemist by trade. Ah, very nice. Right. Could I see you your? Could I get you something for that? <laughs> that would be. Nice. Hey, wait, could you? Can, can you do could, something could, for could that? I this? would pay for that. Could you fix this? Well, I don't know about fix, but just do something. Restore. I can do something with it. Is the something going to help? <clears throat> Cover. Cover. We, we've already right. did the paint thing. It didn't work. The paint doesn't oh, work. Oh, uh, then no, I don't have anything for you. Of course it's paint. So you do do uh, potions. Really? I, I do elixirs of arcane spirits. Mm. What is that? He has a magic, magic potion noise. called Bondo. <laughs> <laughs> He's going to fix the cracks in your face. Mm. Gor I have your hair salon product called Gorilla Glue. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. It's nice yeah. and smooth now. Where do you come from, fine sir? You from this uh, area? No, I come from the south. The south? Though, yes. How far south? Uh, have you ever heard of Baton? Baton? No. Baton switch? No. Baton, it's south. Uh, it's on the eastern coast of our land. Ah, okay. Yeah, you've never been to that tower, have you? The scabbard? Oh, I've been there many times. Ah, the Ragtime Tower was it? That's where I Crag trained. Cragwich. No, Cragwich is where we came from. No, yeah. Raglan. 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 That's it. Hey, see, you have been there. I've been past that. Oh, okay. Bad thing is, I don't remember anything of what we're doing to go in that thing. I just was getting my chest ripped out. Yeah. So yeah. I don't really yeah. know why we're yeah. going we're there. I just wanting to go there. I just want to go there. Yeah, exactly. That's all I know. It's a great We're amusement. recovering something. It's like an, it's like an amusement. Do you have any healing time. potions? Yes. Got to have. I have healing elixirs that will make you feel like the day is new. Could we have? Could we see some? Well, let's see your wares. Uh, nice. What's, what's it, the cost it, on these? Uh, well, for those that are just uh, designated to spice you up, about fifty gold pieces. Fifty so gold pieces. Quality product. Quality product, my friend. What kind of quality product? What level are we talking? He'll show you. Uh, it's going to be a regular healing potion at 50 gold pieces. Uh, yeah. Extra healing at 100. And a restoration potion. Restoration potion. So it's a 100 gold. point healing potion. Well, it will it will cure any poison, paralysis, uh, level loss, uh, or... This, this sounds like snake oil. Mm -hmm. <laughs> this sounds like there's a wraith or something waiting on a tower in our future. You know what? You know what, my friend? I can understand your skepticism. Looks at Robert and he goes, to make sure that my potions do what they say they do, try this. Young man, watch this. I'm watching. What's he doing? Wants you to drink a potion. Drink it. Chug, chug, chug. Want just drink a potion. Chug, chug. You're not sure. Let's chug. Let's, chug. let's chug. drink chug. a potion. He, he stops you before you drink it and he goes, Think of an animal and then drink the potion. I'll think of a gorilla. Think of an owl bear. That would be great. Okay, I'm thinking of one. What is it? Centaur. Centaur? Sure. Uh, drink the potion. 
<laughs> what was that sound? Now D12 against me. Jesus. I'm going to turn into a pigeon. Probably. Seven. Uh, Man Fang, your associate Robert turns into a centaur. Whoa, who are you? It's magic. <laughs> really? Whoa. Seconds later, turns back into Robert. I will ask him, is that the only amount of time that it lasts, or does if you drink the entire These are only samples to make sure that I am not, uh, what did you call me? Shyster. Snake, snake, snake oil? Salesman, yes. <clears throat> my oh. regular potions would last much longer than that. Although, my healing elixirs, immediate. Immediate recovery. How long would you say would last? Well, I, I, I tell you what. I tell you what, what. This potion. How about a small sample of the healing elixir? Just out of the bottle that I will buy. If I feel it's tiny, just a tiny sample. Yeah, he's giving me. He uh, kind of measures out a couple drops. I'll take it. Here, I'll take out my axe and <coughs> grab his arm and say, I got this. You don't, you don't gain any hit points, but you feel refreshed. Uh, to answer Manfang's question, one hour. One hour, cool. Um, how much did the transformy potion cost? Polymorph? Uh, yeah. Well, I did pay 40 gold, didn't I? Yeah, you did, dummy. Damn. 100 gold pieces. One. Ooh, that's real steep, you know. You know, you and I, we're great friends, you know. <sighs> How about we haggle that price down a little yeah, bit? Yeah. 50 we're, seems we're, a little steep for me. Yeah. Per uh, 100 seems steep as well. Persuade what me. What'd you say? Persuade me. Persuade? Nah. Nah. Uh, uh. What's my persuasion? 14. You're going to have to do the persuasion for my persuasion. Yeah, I would like that. Give it to you for 40. No, oh, why the hell? I'm going to be broke by the end of this freaking trip. Could I try to haggle the price with mm -hmm. the uh, polymorph version? Because that seems yep. like something that would be handy. So how do I label this bottle I just got? Uh, potion of extra healing, 2d8 plus 4. All right. Um, do I just roll by twenty with persuasion? Mm -hmm. Yeah, forget I, it. Yeah, forget it. Uh, uh, of course, he rolled a four. I, I rolled an oh, I rolled a nine. Oh, a nine. I got zero plus on persuasion. Yeah, so he rolled almost got me. So nope, hundred hundred gold. Yeah, yeah. Hey, friend, you are great with people. Could you haggle this price? You know, it'd be really nice. You know, I I can do. Uh, I'll buy a drink. You know, I'll buy. A drink. Seventeen. You 19. sure you can't come down a little bit? Nineteen. Of course, yeah, it's sorry, but that's a top rate potion. I uh, you really should buy it for that price if you want it. I don't know. Uh, top rate. You, you know how much power. have you been paying to get healed so far? Yeah, that's why. Yeah. No, I bought that. That's he bought the to... healing potion. Man, Fang's going after the polymorph. You know what? He wants a polymorph. I'll, I'll buy it. I'll buy it for him. Really? Yes. You're gonna I buy it. What are you gonna I can't do? With? I don't know, but it just seems like it'd be a cool thing to buy. This is just like a kid with money in his pocket. It's burning a hole that needs to be burned. Pretty much. Hey, you mean so, it's like a halfling buying a freaking longbow? Yeah. It, it's a, <laughs> I, I, to that. I just couldn't go off on his own. Minus. Felix, you seem to be hogtied really well. Now you have 100? And your voice now is have, muffled. Now I have one. She hmm? leans over, gives you a kiss on the forehead, and says, How much did you have? Who should I get next? Because did you truly have 400 on you? No, it was a hundred. Yeah, no, no, I'm saying. Where's that little halfling friend of yours? <laughs> That's what I'm saying. Okay, okay. Yeah. I'll be right back, lover. Don't you move? I off and she when she shot that wanted poster was, in my I face, was half of that on what was on it? I was down I, to five hundred. Picture of all of you. And then it's oh, okay. So not okay. just me. Or. Okay. The bounty yeah, is cool. one thousand gold pieces. More. That was my next question. 
P-O-R-P-H. Dead or alive. Damn. O-R-P-H. Hey, Robert, can you mute yourself? <laughs> oh, sorry. <laughs> Why is it making it hard for you to perform? Oh, he's tied up. <laughs> no, yeah, I'm I'm stuck. Okay. And, okay. I don't know. And I may have missed that at some point. Is he naked and tied up? No, he is not. Oh, fully clothed. Yeah. Why does no, that I, know? I, I, I knew if I got him naked, he not abide. Plus, he's a half orc, and let's face it, he ain't got nothing she wants. Yeah, Felix definitely took no, that. If it ain't green and scaly, it ain't going to do the job. She's yeah. seen it uh, hanging over the wall. I don't know. Uh, yeah, well, anyway. Uh, okay, so she left the room. Did she leave the wanted poster in here, or is she not that stupid? It's on your face. <laughs> okay. I'm going to, and I'm tied pretty well, and I'm going to struggle against the bonds and see if I can use my sleight of hand to get me free. It'll be a disadvantage, but go ahead. Let the dice giveth or taketh away. Damn, of course it's a disadvantage because one of them was a nat 20. Is it against sleight of hand, though? Uh, yeah, you can go sleight of hand. Oh, hell yeah, 21. Oh, very nice. That's the disadvantage one, right? That's the disadvantage, yes. <sighs> You're thinking you're getting loose. But you aren't sure. But that's what she said. You aren't sure. Uh, copious and leaf. Uh, rapacious knocking hits your doors as you guys have already gotten ready for bed. Uh, but somebody is feverishly knocking on the door. Uh, <clears throat> there's no peephole in the door or anything, is there? Can I look under the door and see anything or not? Uh, halfling feet. Okay. I'm going to call out. Who is it? Uh, it's one of the barmaids. Leaf, you hear the same thing. All right. I'll open the door and ask her what she wants. Uh, the boss said to tell you and your associate that there's something you guys might be interested in because you are adventurers or something of exploration or something like that. But I'm not really sure because I wasn't really paying that much attention. But he said to come up and get you guys and tell you that it was important. But I don't where, know why, because I don't understand. What? Where am I supposed to go? Uh, downstairs at the, uh, I think he said stage, maybe. Or you can just hang out up here and look over. OK, I'll make sure that Copious will get dressed again if he was preparing for bed and go stand out on the the balcony but taking a look around uh, sure uh it appears those three sailors that you didn't spot before are taking center stage after the von trapp family winds up their uh serenade do you get leaf yeah if he's not <laughs> out here i heard what was going on i will get i don't uh, undress to sleep okay i'll just uh grab my weapons and mount them back on and go out and sure. take a look uh, around. Everybody who has rooms upstairs uh, are hovering around. Uh, apparently there's some big show. The little waitress girl is knocking on all the doors to make sure that everybody hears whatever the hell this is going on. Uh, Manfang and Robert are both downstairs Hagus, uh, D12 against me. Let's see if they've got your clothes yet. 12. <laughs> <laughs> You're still standing there in an apron. The owner walks past you, looks down. Can we see him? Yanks it down. No, he's up against it. So oh, you, guys are, you guys are like this. Uh, so you cannot see. Those two cannot see those three. Those three cannot see those two. Uh, you all see the sailors... Uh, get up and tell you that you are in for a story without match. Uh, about, the, <laughs> about this time, Haggis, you notice the half-orc that was with Felix comes up to you. That's a good look on you. Really? It is indeed. Do you want <laughs> your stuff back? I know where those little bitches are at. Thank you. That'll help a lot. Um, actually, could you get that? I need a, a, um, the 
the guy that owns this establishment, he is also looking for my clothes. Could you get him for me? Uh, I can, or we can just go get your clothes together. Those three little bitches need a lesson taught to them, and I'm happy to help you because I don't like them. I agree. Follow me, young one. <laughs> <laughs> Let's see. I, I just need to... <laughs> I don't know that he's. Um, can, could I look around to see my um, crew members? Uh, uh, you see Manfang and Robert. Okay. Now what I could know. possibly go wrong unarmed and no armor? That's Ain't a good nothing. point. Nothing could go wrong. Uh, are, are, what are Manfang and Robert doing? Uh, they're drinking, looking at the stage. Okay. Um, Robert's three sailor friends are getting up to tell his story. Time okay, I go to um, Man Fang and Robert and say, um, "Have you guys seen a, a, a Felix?" She cuts you off. I'm gonna help your little friend out just to get him out of my hair. <laughs> <laughs> go right ahead. <laughs> you got it. Right I don't this one. Come on, <laughs> come on. I, you know, <laughs> stranger I, danger. I, I, what, what stranger you danger. I, she, she offered to help but, you find your stuff. She's walking ahead of you, headed towards the stage. Hmm. Hmm. You know, I already have some of my stuff already. No, you it's, don't. <laughs> yeah, I do. Yeah, I do. I would have to return this apron to the manager. Or that would be stealing. Are you saying I should steal this apron? And they are not bitches. They are very beautiful ladies. I'm, I'm telling offended. you to keep that apron on or I will cut whatever pops out of it off. <laughs> <laughs> Come on. Come on. <laughs> no. Come on. You have no choice. <laughs> Follow. Dude, she could grab you and then like throw you. That's but... a good point. I, I make a scene. Oh, great. I'm not... Uh, I'm uh, not moving. The Leaf manager and, told me to stay right here. I am not moving. Leaf and Copious, now you see them. <laughs> <laughs> you see them, right? Because we're on the opposite end looking down at the stage, right? Yep, now you see them. So, I'll tell wait. Copious, I, Copious, do you see that? Is, <laughs> Dalton that, says, fine, I'll deal with this problem myself. Haggis doesn't Haggis, appear to have any drawers on. I know, is he naked? I yeah, his, so. his butt is looking right up at him. Oh, God. I'm going to look at Leaf and say, I don't know what they've done, but we better figure out what's going I on. I don't either, but I'll bet Felix is involved in it. Yeah, <laughs> we better we better figure out what's going on before we get oh, out of here. Oh, <laughs> I've got a nice room, and I do not want to lose my room. I don't either. something that these idiots have done. We'll head downstairs <sighs> to where the troll, the... Actually, the, I, August. the close or the far? Sorry, what? The close staircase or the far staircase? I'm going to go to the far staircase, I think. So I'll go down the close one. Line That's line over line. by the professional side. Mm -hmm. Yeah. As you walk past the sex workers, uh, you will be solicited. Yeah. Uh, copious, unaffazed. I'll keep moving. Hey, on. hey, no. You ever had a halfling corkscrew? <laughs> no. I, I have a friend that I'll introduce you to later, but right now I'm on business. He invented it. <laughs> you see that painting over the bar? Yeah, I've seen that. Yeah, that's my friend. Actually, we haven't seen it, have we? No, we haven't seen it. Yeah, I don't care. We haven't been in the bar. Uh, Leaf, they ask you, what about you, Stretch? No, thanks. You look like you're worth the climb. You gotta have more fur on you than that to interest me, baby. <laughs> she opens up her shirt and she shows a very. Well, wait a minute. Let me think about this. <laughs> uh, 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 copious as you reach the stairs, uh, the half orc uh, that you have not seen yet comes walking up and looks at you. Aren't you that brewer guy? <laughs> Copious, of course, the smile goes up. What, pray tell, who are you asking about? I think I saw an article on you in my room. King of the Beers? 
I believe that is it from Craig. Why that copious <laughs> I'm seeing a whole nine to five. Well, I guess I am. Do you want my autograph? I'd prefer a sample if I could, and then your autograph, and then perhaps a little bit of your time. I got a my TPK time, to party with a half work assassin. <laughs> I, I am just, I, I hate to gush, but I, I'm a part-time brewer, and if you could give me some tips, I would love to learn from a master brewer. So, so here's here's the great thing about that. So, Copius will say, "Well, let's go down. I, let's. There's a table right there. Let's go sit down at the table, and we'll just we'll have a little chat, and I'll let you sample some of the brew." However, the minute she said she's a part-time brewer his danger sense is going to go up because that's competition. Damn it. Okay. Oops. <laughs> uh, Leaf. I've got to head over. He's going to sit down with her. I've listened to this conversation. I'll tell him I'm going to go find out what's going on with Haggis, and I, I, I'm going to head on over to where Haggis is at. Where am I? Do where, where am I? My Next to Robert, you're right. Next to Robert and Manfang. Down okay. On May okay. My screen. Six. Sorry. Okay. Yeah. Uh, so I have copious hanging out with the uh, part-time brewer chick. I have Leaf reaching Haggis, Manfang, and Robert. I have three sailors on stage. Everybody give me a perception check. I don't see nothing. It was like, no way. 19. Sorry, that's a 13. 21. 19. Uh, Manfang is starting to hear a story that appeals to him. The four of you are like, well, Copius, you're busy. Uh, Leaf, Haggis, and Robert. Where the where the hell's Felix? Because he was just with her. Oh, I asked the guys. You, anybody seen Felix? Who? Well, Who? let's retrace our steps. Um, Why are you first, naked? Who was first he let? <laughs> oh, that's a different question. Why are you naked? Get the hell away from me! I'm, I'm only going to hey, answer Robert. one more question. <laughs> Because you've been crap stained. <laughs> the only crap stain I see here is the one running down your leg. Well, then, but, and um, you can see that. Literally. <laughs> and smell it. Yeah, absolutely. So yeah. he, he was last talking to that lady. What lady? The half work. That you must have gone up to your bedroom. She um, she was very interested in his moves. I saw where some three uh, good little girls that were with me. But um, yeah, he's <laughs> probably uh, a little broken right uh, now if he went with a half orc. Half orc <laughs> women are well known for their you know the acrobatics. You know, well, I'm gonna say, I'm gonna say <laughs> how long ago did he leave? The half orcs over there talking to Copious. Uh, it was a while ago. Is that true, Robert? What they say about how <laughs> they have a penis? <laughs> They're well known for their penis. Yes, <laughs> that is not a penis. That's called something else. <laughs> they right. have they have both parts. PG thirteen. PG thirteen. Come on. Yeah, I just want to inform. I, I literally have said nothing. I just said both parts. You know, I just want to inform all of you that Sophia is right there, and she's grossed out, and she's yeah. grossed out by all of you. I'm grossed out too by her dad. I haven't said. He that. <laughs> it was the other side of the screen. It was that other Orsina household. I don't know. What you you said uh, the, the half orc ladies are well known. I'm like, wait, what? Oh, now, 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 wait a minute. I, I'm curious here if we're going to write lore. If you're going to say the half orc females are hermaphrodites, that would imply to me that he's one. That the inverse is also the same. Yeah. <laughs> are you telling us? The <laughs> are you coming out of the closet? I'm thinking to be safe, we better just call you instead of Robert. Why don't we call you Bobby? I'm all man. I just dropped my. I pulled my. I, I uh, killed all the way up. I'm going to beat Bobby, the androgynous bard. I'm only talking that way because she must. She has to be because she turned me oh, down. Where's your clothes? 
So back to Haggis, naked Haggis. Yeah, I haven't, I haven't got an answer yet. Where the well, you're around his chest. Technically, I am clothed. I have a apron. Okay, fine. Okay. The, but, the owner walks by. Really? <laughs> <laughs> but, uh, uh, so three. Um, uh, the owner, my, <laughs> daughters. The owner's three daughters. <laughs> three beautiful daughters of the owner walks uh, away. <laughs> have stolen my garments. They were very interested in my stolen. Uh, next, they have taken away politely <laughs> um, uh, my, my garments and partners? my equipment and everything I own, and all in return for nothing. Well, I mean, not nothing. Oh, I'll ask, I'll ask, I'm going to ask you. It's going to be a crossbow be wedding in your future, Haggis. <laughs> I, you know what? I don't think it can get any worse than that. So let's go ahead and end it here. Uh, little Frankie, what would you think? I thought it was great. I ate gopher. I That was it, really. I just ate gopher. Yeah. I, I spent almost all of my money. Uh, that's it. You can but, turn somebody into something, though. So Yeah. That ain't nothing. Mm -hmm. uh, Frank, a.k.a. Crap Stained. <laughs> You've been Crap Stained. Uh, not as much as Crap Stained himself. It backfired on him. Oh, oh. Or Felix. <laughs> or Felix got really Crap Stained. Haggis, what do you think? I was Crap Stained. Have you learned anything from this? Nope. <laughs> <laughs> that is today's youth right there. One answer, folks. One answer. Not clear. At least he's honest. Uh, Felix, you can still mumble. What do you think? Sounds <laughs> <laughs> like Felix is having a good time again. Felix is having <laughs> too much fun. And that guy, everybody loves that guy. <laughs> uh, I am is so pissed. That crap stain got to that bow before Felix did. I mean, it's 500 gold. Oh, whoa, 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 whoa. I'm sorry. <laughs> what bow does Haggis have? Haggis <laughs> doesn't have anything. <laughs> that, that's a lot. An apron. He's got a greasy apron. Oh, oh that's, right. that's right. The only that's bow right. he's got in the, is in the, in the tie on that apron. Yeah, Felix, you don't know that yet. No, uh, Jason, what do you think? Uh, I think <laughs> Copius was on his way to having a really nice night and a nice end for the first time in like, you know, two months of game time. No chance. And now we're looking at a total party kill from a single half orc character. Yo it, couldn't, it couldn't have been more tailored to take us off one by one. Would you like the reward? Oh, got to earn that one. <laughs> Uh, Frank Senior, what'd you think? Oh, I just not nothing surprises me anymore. <laughs> yes, yeah, Felix I, I, is right where I feel he should be being in an establishment like this. Uh, yeah, and uh, what? FYI, what room is he in? Everybody, don't I don't know. I no no <laughs> <laughs> one at the top of the stairs. Uh, and I, I'm not even concerned with where he's at right now. I'd like to know where the ones are that took all of Haggis and stuff. Well, that's just it. We, With what we know of Felix, we assume he's intentionally tied up in a room somewhere. Absolutely. That is true. We should just I'm let not, him be him. Yeah, I'm not going to go looking for him. And yeah, he, 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 all, uh, all we know I mean, after he guys. probably enjoys it. It's not our fault. He yeah. consented, so. I'm afraid somebody's going to open the door from the party, see me tied up, and close. be like, oh, he's having a good time. Just close oh, sorry. Oh, sorry. Yeah, sorry, yeah. sorry. Yeah. I'll tell you what, Felix, if that happens, it's going to take a die roll. Or they're going to open it up and say, well, let me join. <laughs> oh, hey, Felix. wait a minute. <laughs> let me sign this. <laughs> uh, folks, this has been Murder Hobo Link, the tri generational slash Margu campaign. Ew. Thank you for joining us. We hope you are not psychically damaged from what you have heard or seen. Follow us on Twitch. Follow us on Twitter. Take a look at our YouTube archive. If you want to shoot shit about DD, join our Discord. If you want to buy our crap, go ahead. Most importantly, if you want to join a game on Saturday, uh, one shot or Tuesday on the talk shows, M Hobo Inc., Gmail, or Twitter. Uh, thank you, Pirate Dog Dice, for dice that I didn't need high rolls for today. They just zoomed right on in. Uh, and of course, Odd Fish Game.